Yo, what's up guys? Police Police here, and today I'm going to show you how to import mods from mcpedl.com or any other website that you can't seem to get mods into Minecraft. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the website I wanna use and what you wanna do is search for mod. I like Pokemon so I'm just gonna search that and I'll download. Let's see. I already have this mod but I'll show you how to use this. So this is basically a Pokemon mod. It's a really cool mod by the way. Uh, okay. Now, this can either take you directly to, um, the website to download it. If you want link purchase, purchase, you want to click on free access without ads unless you have premium. Click on continue and do whatever. It may say download an app from the um, the app store, um, and if you guys are scared by this and don't want to, like, do it because you don't trust it, it might be shady, uh, it's okay, because this is a completely safe website, um, some mod creators just want to make some money off the hard work, and who can blame them, some mod creators do make a living off their mod, so that is pretty cool. You're going to want to click the X immediately and wait for 10 seconds, then click on continue. It will take you to, it will take you to media fire, and, um, what you want to do is wait for it to download, and then immediately go into the documents app once it's downloaded. If it's a zip file, you're going to want to go into your files app. Let's say you're in the, um, Files app, and you click on the file. Now it's very simple. It's gonna go through into Minecraft and it's going to work, well, but not fully. It's not gonna fully import. It's gonna fail. Fail to import because I have a duplicate pack. But trust me, it does not work. But the way it does work is you know I go to document click on files and click on one that does not that the one that you want to import click on open another app open in minecraft and for some reason it might recognize this app more because it might be more trusted to minecraft and it'll actually go through so we just want it import and it should be successful Alright guys, that's how you import mods right into Minecraft. Now, um, there's, does work for Android, but there is like a bunch of other file apps you can use, like ES File Explorer. Um, so for Android, just use that. Um, now, I'm going to show you how to get to EDF. So we will add fly. So to do that, I'm just gonna click on this, and then you're gonna scroll down. Maybe this has add fly right here. Click. So it could either take you. It will always take you immediately file to download. Now, what will happen here is once it's loaded. Uh, okay, I don't know what's going on. Let's try that again. Add fly. Okay, then you want to click on it. And it's going to take you, should take you to the add fly website. Now, you want to click on dismiss. Ignore the ad and wait five seconds. So you can pass right up here by the logo, so you can pass. Click on skip ad.
Okay, and it's gonna take you some crazy weird thing. And it's gonna say, oh, wow, you don't wanna do that. Bunch of ads are gonna pop up. Just click anywhere else, like maybe below it, but not clicking the buttons. Click on cancel, once that's done, click on the link. And then all you do from here is just download it. Click on download and then just import it like usual. You do have to unzip it in the files app before you go into documents. Okay. Anyways, guys, that's how you get past Firefly and yeah, download as well as import mods to Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.